Uh, hello everyone, Artemis back here once again with the next portion of Pokemon Y. We have just defeated the second gym leader and now we need to do some uh, landscaping here. No, this hasn't suddenly become Minecraft. Oh, would you look at that? At night time the bicycle has a light. Rather, there's a, um, there's a path back here that connects back to an earlier town that is to everybody's advantage to go ahead and uh, make a shortcut in. So we're going to go into there. Step off our bike. It's a very simple thing, really. So you've gotten the HM strength. You've defeated the gym leader, and you're now allowed to use it. So just like always, place the big boulders out of your path. Immediately, we get one technical machine, Aerial Ace. Which can be useful for any flying-type physical force. Actually, let me go ahead and teach that. Physical Power 60. We're going to teach this to Diddle, who is currently paralyzed. And we're going to replace Heck, which is only 35 power. So if your Pidgey or your Fletchling is uh, lacking in powerful flying type moves, go ahead and take, put it, give it that TM. All right. Well, we've made that. Now we're going to just continue. This person is going to give us frustration. This works best on new Pokemon. Uh, the more friendship your Pokemon has with you, the less its power. And just like that, you're through. I believe that's all you can really do. Well, that was the first part of it. Because we remember this this exit leads to Route uh, 6 or something like that. But then you can still go south. Now, hopefully I'll get a Zubat because I missed catching one earlier. Nope, just a Metatite. You ain't worth the power points. Alright, continue south through the boulder hole. And this means that the shortcut now connects all three places. So, we could exit here on Route 8. Or better yet, we can simply take the shortcut we just made back. This way we don't have to go through Route 8 and fight a whole bunch of mobs to get to, uh, to get to the next place. So that was that. That's a quick little beginning there. Only took less than three minutes. And what's next? An exciting new town. Are these all Rock Smash Rocks? I like this bike. I'd rather just skate around. Nose pass forward. Start these guys off with bubble. Nose passes usually have sturdy. So we're gonna catch the one that was left. Haha, <laughs> knocked over like bowling pins. Fear the power of the revolution. Harden won't save you now, buddy. That actually worked out really well with having only one half sturdy. I'm trying to remember what Nose Pass's regular ability is. Magnet pull, I think. No nickname for you. And Snubble. I've gotten a heads up from uh, Alex Terra actually that Snubble is now a fairy type, interestingly enough. Although I don't think that will save it from being caught here. It may make Granville a more interesting competitive Pokemon later on. Oh, Dark is not very effective on Fairy, apparently. So there we go, it immediately made a difference. Oh, well, we'll catch the next one. Little dog in a dress.
Let's see. So now we have a boulder puzzle. So we want to be very careful. That we don't block ourselves or the boulder. Here we go. And it's the home stretch. The revolution will leave no holes. What do we get? Thunderway. I'm not impressed. Oh, Golet. Actually, I don't have any moves that both can hit and are not super effective on this book. So we're going to switch to... What can we use? Amara, this Pokemon. Complete with its incredibly strange cry. Look out. I hope I'm not going to be bothering you. Aunt Eliza is doing StarCraft again, so I've been temporarily displaced. Will headphones solve this problem? Alright. Good to know. And another Horde of Nose Pass. Which I see no particular reason to defeat this time, so... Away we go. First trainer challenge of the day, let's see what we've got. Psychic. Bringing out the Generation 5 on us. <laughs> Over 9,000! Pokemon making the pop culture references here. I am rather curious to see what all Pokemon there are on the rules, so we know we have at least another Snubble to find. Hmm, Yanma. Take these out one at a time. Oh no. One of these Yanmas does not have speed boost, so that's the one we'll go ahead and catch.
Alright, here we go. Netball for bug types. Clearly needs to be lowered a bit first. Who's got something? It might work. Side might work. Oh, perhaps not. Better look next time. Murat overcoming the uh, type advantage here, thanks to the Click Claw. And then some normal on normal action here. Rocky Helmet helping to finish the battle decisively. And finally, Azumaru. Raise this defense by one stage, but we raise ours by two with sword stance, so it won't help. Oh well. Wow. Not a bad start. Barely finishing off the building. Try to find any hidden items around here. Mind plate. So this is a psychic type move boosting power. Ooh, another new Pokemon. How How Lucha? Hawk. Hawk Luchador. Interesting. We'll give it a Spanish name. No idea what type this might be, besides probably flying. Started off with light. Not very effective, so probably flying fairy or something like that. Bringing strength.
There we go. It was supposed to be a great bowl, but maybe I'll get lucky anyway. Apparently so. Hmm. Oh, fighting flying. Very interesting. That would be a very effective Pokemon to add to some of your teams, I'm pretty sure. Fighting flying is not a bad type combination. At least offensively. Defensively, it's not the best, but... Can't win them all. And we're going to switch up the order of the party here. Put our proper starter back up in front. And this might be a Team Flare executive. Let's go. Fight fire with fire. Actually, this is a terrible matchup. I don't have anything to even damage it. Oh well. <laughs> Hound are making some relatively decent choices here. And that was supposed to be Aerial Ace, but clearly this Houndor does not have Flash Fire, so... And it's just going to keep switching my Pokemon out. Who's next? Napoleon Returns! And now I know I can damage this thing with Fire, so we will indeed fight Fire with Fire. Doing much more damage this time. And last up, we have a gold axe. But Napoleon is ready for it with Simon. Super effective hit against weak special defenses. Gold axe down with the shot. That is right. How do you think I can pull the French armies without super mind power? Excellent. Well, Team Flare is very quickly driven out here, and it looks like now we're at the second part of this. Some trainers might abound. Oh, Snubble Round 2. This time it's ours.
There we go. Yep, it's pure fairy now. Continuing to try not to miss any items or anything. And there's another Halucha. Now that we know it's typing, we know Scything will be super effective on it. So hopefully, down in one shot it goes. And here we have another Psychic. They tend to flock to these areas of natural power. I like this one's outfit, though, I have to say. Alright, Metatite. Fighting Psychic, neutrally weak to Psybeam. Let's get it. Getting a physical water move for four total there. And we have Curlia coming in, so let's switch to the Ghost Typhoon. And this time. Curlia raising its critical hit ratio. Or shielding itself from critical hits, and I'll just raise my attack here. So that when it comes down to the move, Shadow Sneak goes first, should be a one hit KO. And Curlia goes down. There it is. Thunderstone! another Team Flare operative. You looked like an electric type, so any ground moves would have been very effective on it. We don't have any on our team here, though, so... And Crow Gunk, Poison Fighting, so Side Beam would be just fine. Anticipation is actually almost more helpful for your opponent than for you. Because it means that you're going to shudder if your opponent has any move that can knock you out in one hit, like my Side Beam just there. But all that tells me is that yes, I can go ahead and take a risk instead of trying to power up. Honestly, I don't think Crow Gunk was helped at all. Here's another strange tourist. Just 
time with the ghost type Drifloon. Both starters now at level 32, only four levels away from evolving into their third and final stage. Hippopotus, bad matchup for Fennekin, so we're going to switch out for Dragson. So we'll bring in the other starter, War Turtle, Mora. Sandstream, Sandstorms are going to increase the special defenses of the enemy team, so we'll go ahead and hit it with a physical increase, Aqua Sam. That is, if it lets us get in it. And taking it down in one hit. Patrissu is up next. Simple electric type. Which we can probably kill with a neutral hit from return. Yes, indeed. Sorry, little squirrel. Today was not your day. Rather drawn out battle there. And it looks like there's one more flare executive standing around. Operative. Oh! Eevee! See if we can leave this one alive, catch it. I'd rather like to have the new Sylveon. Try an ultra roll. There, critical capture. It sounds different. And done. Told you it happens there still. Probably be adding that EV to our team in hopes of having a fairy type on here finally. And before we cut this, we have one more flare member to get. Sidebeam for an immediate type advantage against Golden. That was a rather weak grunt. And now we can one-shot Golets with Finnegan, with Dragson. So, there we go. That's a wrap, friends. We're at the next town. I'm probably going to go ahead and rename 
uh, Sylveon or Eevee into something more appropriate, and I'll switch it out. But then we'll follow up in just a moment here with the next part of this adventure. Thank you. <laughs> 